Good morning. The title for today is Heather Inspires Me Again, Telling Us How to Access Our Value. It may have been listening to the One People program last night with Heather explaining how we will be able to access our value, even in the current system, that put something inside of me at ease. All I know is that I slept for five hours, waking up following another flying dream. After the previous night of getting no sleep at all till after 5.30 a.m., that seemed almost miraculous. I have no delusions that there will not be some challenges ahead, yet there is a sense that those of us who are willing to play in the new energies will prevail in actually changing the way finance works in this paradigm shifting world. The truth is, as Heather said, banking will ultimately work as it was always intended, except transparently. The value has always come from our intrinsic worth and ability to create representations of that value. Our signatures, our agreement, is how money has been created then and now. The tools are being revealed. Here's the link to that show, and it's on Blog Talk Radio. Anyway, as I said, I had another flying dream. And this was, as far as I can remember, one of the most playful flying dreams I've ever had. I mean, it was set like along a, a river bank and people were creating along the river uh, and there were men and women and I was sort of just showing off flying <laughs> and I mean it was fun having people watch me and, and then the, the dialogue although I don't remember any of the specific well I remember only one specific dialogue with one young lady I, I I can't even remember how it led into it, so I'm not going to give the punchline because it won't make sense without the how it led into it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm I, I'm sorry to lead you down a path and then not take you all the way in, <laughs> but I'm not going to reveal the punchline because I don't remember the preliminary part of the conversation. In any case, it was playful. That was the spirit that I woke up and I, I was surprised because it was already past 3.30 and I normally wake up a little bit before that. And then when I went into the meditation room, the clocks in that end of the house are like 10 and 15 minutes ahead of the clocks on this end of the house, which are correct according to the caller ID which and the computer time, which measures the time from the atomic clock, I, I'm pretty much assuming. In any case, the program last night with Heather really didn't cover anything new, but it was clarifying things that I already was aware of. And that may be the same for many of you that choose to listen. But for some of you that are new to this game, our signatures have always created the value. Uh, bankers have created money when they loan it. And the actual value is the document signed by the, quote, borrower <laughs> that creates the asset for the banks that allows them to create the money. We, the people, have always brought the money into existence because we are the ones that have worth. We are the ones that have intrinsic value. It is our creativity, our being and doing that creates the value in any economic system. It has always been that way, except they hoodwinked us and convinced us that they were the ones that had the value because they knew how it worked. And this is a universal value. It's not just Earth. This is how value works throughout the cosmos. The, 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 the being creates the value according to what they want to do and what they want to experience and create. 
And obviously, we must have wanted to experience slavery because we created a slavery system. Actually, what it was is certain people in the know that knew how, to, how the system worked created a way to deceive the majority so that they could reap the benefits of, of the creativity and keep other people in ignorance and in bondage and in servitude to a system of lies because the whole thing in our world has been built on lies but as Heather said we are we are now recognizing that we are and always have been not it's not something new we have always been the value but now we're waking up enough to know how to play the game now um, Brian Kelly mentioned at the end of the broadcast don't get don't be deluded into thinking that all of a sudden the people in the banks and the people in the world are going to all of a sudden accept this new way of accessing value which isn't new at all it's just that we're in control of it we have the knowledge of how it's played and we go and we say this is how you've always played you've always taken our signature as having the value and you've deposited our signature you're not you mean you're not going to do it now when when we're making the contract such that that we're saying this this is the rules of the game this is my value I'm depositing I'm willing to deposit this in your bank are you willing to play with me and play is a word that Heather used a number of times in the in the broadcast last night and it's how I woke up this morning in that playful dream where I was actually flying <laughs> and having conversations with people along the banks of this beautiful river where all sorts of things were going on cleaning cleaning fish and <laughs> uh, anyway <laughs> it's playful we're gonna get to play in this thing now it's again it's not going to happen like that that all of a sudden it's going to be accepted but it will be accepted because this is the wave of the future for us to know and to be in control of our of our own lives I know it doesn't look like that yet I'm well aware that it looks like the powers that that were are ramping up for tighter and tighter controls they're trying harder and harder and getting more and more desperate but as Heather said they're playing a game too. It's just a role. It's just a role. And the same thing that's in us that's awakening is going to awaken in more and more of them so that they and us become more and more unified and in agreement with how the game will be played on this planet as we bridge from the old paradigm to the new paradigm when ultimately we won't even need representations of wealth but there's a bridge like many other bridges they link the old to the new so that there is not such an abrupt shift that there's no continuity continuity will be maintained I've felt that for decades I've said God there has to be continuity the kingdom of heaven cannot come suddenly and all and all of a sudden there's no link. It, the, the new doesn't look anything like the old. No, that what good would that do? Then, then the people that that try to make a jump, a leap from three Ds to five D or whatever, and and by denying all the three D stuff and saying, "Well, I'm not in the system. Uh, I'm not. I have no ego. I have, you know." They they make this this leap they think they can make this leap now that's part of their awakening process but I've always said God it can't work that way there's something not in integrity and certainly la it lacks continuity to have it work by making a leap there has to be a bridge it has to be somewhat gradual although also somewhat sudden so both of them both of them come into play the suddenness is oh we're waking up and all of a sudden hundreds of thousands of people are waking up around the planet at the same time well that's pretty sudden 
And all of a sudden, Heather comes on the scene and tells us how to do it lawfully and even legally. <laughs> how to create our wealth the way that it's always been created, but how to be in control of it. How to do it with knowledge instead of doing it in ignorance where someone else steals the value. We will get to use the value. And I know there's technical difficulties. They intended to have this up online yesterday on uh, removing the shackles on the American Kabuchi and, and other uh, websites, but there's been technical difficulties in, in fully releasing it online, and I don't know what they are, so don't ask me. Listen to the program. You'll know as much as I do. In any case, the, ch the game is being changed, and it is a game. We're going to be able to move into this more playfully than ever before, more relaxed than ever before. We're going to be able to sleep, maybe longer than, for me, longer than I, than I normally sleep. I don't know when it's been that I've had five hours of sleep, but I did last night. I did last night. I had five hours of sleep, and that's an amazing thing. I mean, it's been a good while since that has happened, a good while. So... Anyway, I'm not going to talk much longer because I've shared what I need to share and, and what's important. I thank you once again for listening. Uh, I encourage you to listen to Heather and see if it doesn't uplift you as well as it did me. And again, thank you. I will be back with another video tomorrow whenever I shoot it. I was thinking of shooting it last night, but I thought, no, I'm going to lay down. And I fell asleep almost immediately, which is a good thing. Anyway, blessings to you. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>